Hey guys, today's review of the Channel Island mid-length twin fin is brought to you by Uppercut Deluxe. Uppercut Deluxe make premium hair products, and if you go to their website, uppercutdeluxe.com, you can get 20% off any of their products by using the code SURFBOARDGUIDE20. My favorite are well, the matte pomade, and I also like the deluxe pomade. Look, check it out, and I'd like to thank Uppercut Deluxe for backing the surfboard guide. Now, on to the review of the Channel Island mid-length twin fin. Hey guys, today for the surfboard guide, we're gonna check out the Channel Islands mid-length twin fin. So this is the CI mid twin fin. People are probably familiar, I think about a year or so ago, Channel Islands brought out the CI mid-length and this is the twin fin version. Uh, the CI mid-length went crazy on the racks. They could not get them in stock anywhere. You saw the beautiful colors they were tinted in at every beach on the Australian coast and I heard um, on the west coast of, of the US, they, they were hugely popular as well. Um, but now we've got the twin fin version. So looking over it, uh, it's inspired by that kind of mid-length egg design uh, at 610. I don't know where you come in where it actually becomes a mid-length. There's a bit of controversy over naming it a mid-length and lengths and all that sort of stuff, so I won't go into that. Uh, but for a, you know, a traditional short border, this is definitely a mid-length for me, um, and it's been a whole lot of fun. So looking over it, uh, I'm hoping it fits in the frame because it's a pretty long board, one of the longest we've reviewed. But uh, 610, uh, low entry rocker pretty flat, just enough kind of lift and really gentle rocker throughout the board from the front through to the tail, just to keep you out of trouble and keep surfing really nice and okay. easy. Uh, flipping it over, uh, they say on the, you can kind of feel, it almost feels like a light kind of V here, but they say it's a double barrel concave. So you can feel kind of it start to rise on the stringer near the decal here. And then it's got this nice kind of double, goes through the fins, it's kind of deep. Uh, and then it doesn't quite flatten off the back, but it's definitely, it's deeper and uh, more, more um, noticeable up here, you know, between your feet kind of thing. But then it starts to flatten out, just quite gentle at the back, but you can still feel the, the stringer uh, extend and there's still a little bit of a double off the back, but almost flat. Um, rails on the CI mid twin fin, pretty gentle, uh, fullish, kind of like a mid full. But what's interesting is they say through uh, the side and then through the back, you normally get that, that kind of effective edge, that sharper edge of the rail there, normally just in front of the fins, and it's just kind of tucked. So instead of being flat on the side to a sharp edge like a shortboard would be, it just kind of rolls over, and that edge is brought a bit more over. So I think that just does like ease of turning, not too catchy, just really flowy between turns and really, really easy to surf. So I've had the CI Mid Twin for a couple of months now, and then I surf it on a whole variety of conditions. I've actually been kind of psyched. I've been checking out, you would have seen, we've had a few kind of mid-length reviews. We did the Chili Mid Strength, we've done a couple of others lately. Um, and I guess what's different with this is a lot of them have been kind of, and I'm gonna say they're bolted in more um, shortboard kind of DNA. They're like built up shortboards that are more for performance kind of surfing. Uh, the CI Mid Twin is a collaboration with Channel Islands and Devon Howard. So it's definitely built, I think, off the, you know, off the grounds of more kind of, kind of more Malibu, more longboard towards mid-length kind of DNA. So it's, I think it's more inspired and more directed towards, you know, flowier lines, cruisier surfing, you know, catching lots of waves, drawing really nice lines where those other mid-lengths we've checked out that have been like, you know, some twins, but quads and thrusters and stuff have been more kind of performance shortboard inspired. I hope that makes sense. So this has been really good when we've got some really kind of like tiny little waves. Uh, the thing paddles a dream. It's 610 and it's almost 45 liters. So my normal short boards are kind of like 30, 31, 32 liters. So this is like, you know, 13 to 15 liters above what I normally ride in a short board. And another thing is a lot of its volume is just kind of just in the perfect places. Like nothing is wasted. So it paddles like a board, you know, 45 liters or more. I, I'm, I'm not missing waves, I'm catching everything. It's connection between, you know, sections. You'll see some clips we've got where there's, you know, a bit of a takeoff, a bit of a flat section, you get to another little bowl to do another little turn, and it just effortly floats across that. Um, being a shortboarder at heart and being someone that's always ridden a shortboard, I always find myself like wiggling and trying to get more speed and connect sections. But on the CI Mid Twin, 
it was pretty effortless and I didn't have to do a lot of that. It just gently floated across sections. And I guess that's a lot to do with, you know, the plan outline where it holds its volume, holds its volume. Uh, and also that nice double barrel concave, just kind of moving water through the board really easy, making it really quick and making it really, really easy to surf. Um, in the CI mid, I tried a couple of fins, but there was one I definitely came um, and landed on. So when I first got the board, I was having a chat with Devin Howard and he's saying, check out the Brit Merrick twin. So this is the Brit Merrick twin by, um, or the BMT twin by Futures. Uh, but at the time I didn't have them and I didn't have access to them for like the first couple of surfs. And I tried the EN by Futures. So the EN twin is an upright twin quite large, a lot of surface area and very stiff. They felt really, really good. Probably gave a little bit more performance feel as an upright fin, they're a little bit looser, snappier, kind of release a little more, but they felt really, really good. As Soon as I got my hands on the BMTs, the Brit Merrick Twins, they felt absolutely perfect. The board is probably more towards, you know, glide and flow and more drawn out turns. And this definitely, this felt more at home than say the EN, which was a bit more performance inspired. So this is, um, I think this is not quite a keel and it's not an upright. I believe the BMT kind of sits in between an upright twin and a keel fin. So if you look at the profile, you know, looks a little bit keelish, but not, not as much as those ones that are a lot flatter and a lot longer and probably would hang over the rail line here. So it's kind of that perfect mix of, you know, the keels giving nice long drawn out lines and an upright twin being, you know, more performance orientated, a little bit snappier and a little bit looser. So yeah, if you get the CI mid, um, you know, if you have a twin fin you like that has quite a bit of surface area, I'd check it in, they'd probably work really well. If you get a chance to get on the BMTs by Futures, they're absolutely perfect and they just feel absolutely at home in the CI mid. Overall, I love the CI mid twin. It was a whole bunch of fun. Like I said, we checked out a lot of mid lengths, a lot of mid lengths twins over the last like, you know, 12 or 18 months. And a lot of them are built around shortboard shapers and probably shortboard DNA and built up. This is a little bit different using the classic Channel Islands templates they've used to design this and the um, collaboration with Devon Howard. It's more longboard, kind of traditional inspired, uh, and it's been a whole lot of fun. Knowing Devon was involved, I, I knew I'd be looking at a surfboard where I was gonna be, you know, chasing some really nice lines, just, you know, enjoying trimming, drawing my turns out more, more than chasing like, you know, a re-entry or a snap or steeper sections. Saying that, I did find myself at times really kind of push it. It's a very, very capable board. So it's not just for jumping up, standing there and looking pretty. It is capable, it can surf, and you can do those kind of high performance turns. Look, overall, I love the CI Twin uh, Mid Twin, and I'd like to thank Uppercut Deluxe, Channel on Surfboards, and Onboard Store for the chance to check it out today. Hope for you, get a chance to check one out too. Thanks so much for watching.